The interpretation of verse 1 is that Solomon purposely allowed the construction of his house to drag on for 13 years while he had accelerated the temple construction and finished it in seven years. Also, we must remember that many years of preparation, planning, and accumulation of materials had preceded the seven-year temple project. Solomon probably gave priority to the temple and put more attention and time on its construction than on his palace. His own house refers to the entire royal complex, including the house of the forest of Lebanon, the hall of the pillars, the hall of the throne, the house for Pharaoh's daughter, and his own residence. The remainder of chapter seven deals with the furnishings and decorations inside the temple. A noted bronze craftsman from Tyre was commissioned to oversee these artistic final touches. His first project was to build two huge freestanding pillars topped with intricately decorated blossom-shaped capitals. The one on the right was given the name Jason, meaning he shall establish. And the one on the left was named Boaz, meaning in strength. Why the columns were named is not revealed. The names were therefore merely the expression of a satisfied craftsman at the completion of the task, and they caught on. The simplest explanation is that the columns were named to symbolize the presence of the strong name of Yahweh in the temple and the permanence of his covenant with Israel. Whatever the meaning of the names, the columns must have been an awesome sight to those who approach the vestibule of the temple.